Hey guys. Today we are in your module one through nine book, starting module number seven. We're on page 149. So today we're going a little farther. We've been adding and subtracting fractions so far. And today we're going to talk about how we can use benchmarks to estimate a sum or difference of fractions with unlike denominators. Benchmarks. We've been doing that this whole time. All that's meaning is I'm going to compare that to zero, a half, or a whole. That's a benchmark fraction. It's one that's very easy to kind of estimate in our mind. So we're going to use that to help us. Okay. So this says Mrs. Fong mixes water, glue, and laundry detergent together to make slime. The amount of each ingredient is a fraction of a liter. Use a visual model to estimate the total number of liters of ingredients that she mixes together. So, like we've done the whole time we've been doing this, a good benchmark fraction is a, is a whole, or a good benchmark is a whole. And then we can put all of our parts together. So I have um, two, three eighths, one, two, three eighths, and I have two fifths, one, two fifths, and a tenth. Okay. Now, I do not have a common denominator. I'm not sure what the exact answer is, but my question said, um, estimate the total number of liters. So it's almost one. I would say one is a good estimate. It's almost one, okay? I'm gonna write that, almost one liter because you can see it and know right there, okay? Um, another thing that you can do, let's say we don't have these tiles. We've got three eighths, two fifths, and one tenth. We'll separate them like that. You can always, kind of like it says right here, round those to either zero, a half, or a whole. That's what I always do in my mind. Zero, a half, or a whole, because we can do that really easily. And it's, you know, that's what an estimate is supposed to be. It's supposed to be something you can quickly do in your mind. An estimate shouldn't take um, a lot of thinking. It should be a quick um, way to get an answer. Three eighths. Now, I know that four eighths would be a half. So this is smaller, but it's close to a half, okay? Um, two fifths, I know that five, if you split it in half, it's not going to be an exact number. I know it's going to be two and a half. So this is pretty close to a half also. And for one tenth, I would say that's pretty close to zero. So a half and a half equals a whole, and so that would be a good estimate also. So don't think you always have to have these tiles, and we're not always going to have access to tiles. Um, we can use what we know to help us, what we know about equivalent fractions. See, we use four eighths and one half to help us. That's going to get us a way to use those benchmarks. Okay? Let's turn the page. 150. Mrs. Fong has some bottles of copper powder for science experiments. She uses seven eighths bottle two-thirds bottle, and five-twelfths bottle. About how many bottles does she use? So first it says what expression matches or represents the situation? Well, she's got this, this, and this, and she's using them all. So I'm going to add those, seven-eighths, two-thirds, and five-twelfths. Remember, an expression is a number sentence without an equal sign. So that's all we need to write. Okay, how can you use the three number lines and the benchmarks zero, a half, and a whole to help you estimate the answer? Okay, so I'm gonna put seven eighths here on my number line. 
I think that it's in my copy you can't see it as good in your book I'm sure you can see it better I'm gonna trace those and now my lights have gone out in here too um so my seven eighths that I put here on the number line very close to one hole so I'm gonna uh, put that right here it says what expression represents the estimate so I'm rounding seven eighths to a hole all right my next one was two thirds here's one third here's two thirds all right what do y'all think two thirds is close to what I would say it's closer to a half than it is to a whole. So we're going to round that to a half. So that was our two thirds. And then we have five twelfths right here. Again, closer to a half than zero. And in my mind, I can easily add these up. A half plus a half, I know is one. And one plus one is two so she uses about two liters of the copper powder okay now um down here it says how could we determine that if we didn't have a number line just like we did on the last page we would look here and say i know that seven eighths is almost a whole almost eight eighths same thing with a, a half, two thirds. Half of three, I know, is one and a half, so this is more than that, so about a half. And then five twelfths, I know that six twelfths is a half, so this is going to be close to a half. So we can still use what we know to help us, even if we don't have fraction tiles or a number line. Okay. Now let's go to page um, let's look at page 151. I'm going to look here at the bottom. It says use benchmark values to write an expression to represent an estimate. All we're doing is writing an expression to represent an estimate. Nine tenths. We should be able to look at that and say nine tenths is almost Ten tenths, almost a whole. So I'm going to round that to one. Oop. Well, I put a plus there. And then one twelfth. Let's think about that. If I only have one out of something where I have twelve pieces, I don't have very much. So I'm going to round that to nothing. So my estimate, well, really, I just need to do an expression, would be one plus zero. Okay. Let's look at five eighths minus three fifths. Five eighths. Think about what you know. Half of eight is four. So half would be four eighths. So that's pretty close to a half. Same thing with three fifths. I know half of five is two and a half. So three is pretty close to that. So that expression estimated would be a half minus a half. And this is a good, good, good skill to practice because, again, like you've heard me say all year, we always need to be asking if our answers make sense. This helps us to get a reasonable answer in our mind to know if it makes sense. All right, guys. So that's what we're going to do for today. Um, and do your best.